First, it's time for this week's mail call. Josh, president of Legacy Automotive in Boulder, Colorado, writes, Hello, car doctor. Not sure if it's just a result of aging, genetics, or from working on too many Fords, but I'm in the beginning stages of hair loss, much like yourself. Uh, we are just curious what you recommend for OSHA compliant headwear for yourself and staff. Josh, you've made the right choice for you and your staff as far as OSHA compliant headgear. There's really no other alternative than the Whirly Bird beanie hat. Actually helps lighten the load and lets you rise above, especially when dealing with those problematic vehicles. Hey, Josh, Rico, and Bert, we appreciate you writing into the Car Doctor channel. And just because we've read your mail on the air, we're gonna send you some OSHA compliant Whirly Bird beanie hats for all your staff so your customers will be impressed and uh, your girlfriends too, more than likely. Thanks again for writing into the Car Doctor channel. That's this week's mail call. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Thought I'd show you this one we got in here. It's, a, it's an uncommon vehicle. You may or may not have seen them before, but it's a Quigley 4x conversion on a Ford van. So they take uh, regular E-Series Ford vans, and they take them to the Quigley factory and install a uh, basically an entire drivetrain on them, a transfer case. Basically, it's a lot like an F-150 um, when they're done with it, as far as the drivetrain. But it's got this kind of different four-link suspension on it. Let me grab a light. Uh, and it's so it's, it's a one-off deal. Um, this one came in here with with uh, with the death wobble, where uh, experiences oscillation that that uh, starts and basically won't stop. The sh steering wheel shakes. The whole vehicle shakes. Uh, at a certain speed after you hit a bump and then uh, you have to slow down to get it to stop. Uh, that's what we call a death wobble because it's pretty scary. People have probably died from it. But uh, basically uh, it needed a steering stabilizer. The ball joints were shot. Um, it was due for brakes. And uh, we're going to get things tightened up. And uh, that should fix that. I've done the the right front upper lower ball joints, put some quality Moog joints on it, repacked the bearings and swapped out the rotors and pads. Here's the front end. It's it's not it's not a, a stock F-150 front end at all. I think they're just special application diffs they put in there. It's got this four link system that bolts up to the frame. And then uh, it's got kind of a funky, almost, it's not a divorce T case, but uh, you know, it's all, looks like it's a Borg Warner. You can get this up here. It's a Borg Warner T case, which is what most of the F 150s and Rangers and 250s, 350s take but uh, it's, it's all different. So when you're servicing these, uh, you can't just look up the parts at your parts store. Um, odds are they're not gonna have the correct parts for you. You gotta call Quigley and get all the right parts. So Quigley will, if you wanna get parts from Advance, uh, Moog, whatever, Quigley can give you the actual part numbers. You just give them the, the VIN and they'll look at the particular build. I'm not even gonna show you the parts that I used on this because they can be different um, just depending on the build. So you gotta contact Quigley. But they're a pretty special use vehicle. We see a lot of them in Alaska just because, uh, well, uh, you know, oil field exploration type stuff, utilities vehicles, 
just severe weather conditions where a service truck needs to get into, uh, you know, hard places, uh, uh, hilly terrain, uh, you know, almost four by trails and whatnot. Some of these remote sites require that kind of transportation. Um, not that uh, you wouldn't have something similar with like a Chevy Express van, but even those I've heard rumor that uh, they're gonna stop making the, the H series 1500 Chevy Express, which is the four wheel drive version of that van, which uh, I actually prefer those over this Quigley uh, configuration, but uh, there's so many different Quigleys out there too. Um, there's, this one's a converted at E150 and they've, they'll do all different types. They've got E350s and, and a bunch of different configurations depending on uh, the intended application. So these vehicles are not daily drivers. Uh, they could be, but being that they're designed for an intended purpose, they're probably not good for, you know, general highway mileage. Um, you, you can do that, but you're going to experience a, a cost associated with that. They're just not made to zip around on the highway and whatnot. Uh, this thing's got about 70,000 miles, and the front end's needing some major work. So, uh, um, you know, not, not uncommon for any platform, uh, but uh, uh, probably just not made for, you know, highway use, of course. Um, I don't know what modifications they do to the suspension, actually. It seems like they're lifted up a little bit more than, uh, than a, a standard E150 would be. Um, but it does, it does have the coils on the front and leaf springs on the back. So I, I don't know how they get them from the factory and what modifications they do as far as that goes. But uh, I thought I'd just share it with you. We see a few of these in Alaska, so uh, you might see them zipping around uh, in your area. Kind of a cool rig, but a few things to watch out for when you're servicing them. All right, well, hey, once again, I thank you for stopping by the Car Doctor Studios, and uh, we will catch you next time. I hope things are going well for you. We're rolling into fall and anticipating a busy winter around here. All right, take care. See you.